nestled within the heart of Asia, Afghanistan has birthed warriors of remarkable prowess, whose strategies and courage have been carved into the mountains of time. Today, we journey through the tales of the top 30 Afghan generals, the masterminds whose brilliance in battle has defined the course of empires. An Afghan resistance leader, Mir Masjidi Khan is celebrated for his fierce struggle and victories against the occupying British forces in and around Kabul and northern Afghanistan until his death. A prominent leader and founder of the princely state of Tonk in Rajasthan, Amir Khan is known for his military skill and strategic alliances with the Marathas and the British, establishing and maintaining his rule in the early 19th century. Serving with distinction during the zenith of the Delhi Sultanate, Kamal al-Din Gurg's defining martial exploit was his leadership in Aladdin's conquest of the Sivana forts in 1308 and the Jalore forts in 1311. A general under the Delhi Sultanate, Nusrat Khan's most significant military achievement was his role in the expansion of the Sultanate's territory into southern India, notably through his successful campaigns against the Deccan kingdoms. A figure of valor within the Delhi Sultanate, Almas Beg is best known for his role in expanding the Sultanate's influence, notably through campaigns in the Indian subcontinent and defending against the Mongols. As the ruler of the Durrani Empire, Zaman Shah Durrani's most significant military achievement was his attempts to recapture the lost territories of the empire in India, although his campaigns saw mixed results. A notable general in the Sur Empire, under Emperor Sher Shah Suri, Haibat Khan Niyazi distinguished himself in the early 16th century with his military campaigns that helped solidify Sur control over parts of northern India. The founder of the Rohila state in North India, Ali Muhammad Khan carved out a kingdom through his military prowess in the 18th century, notably resisting Afghan and Mughal pressures. A Rohila chieftain and a key figure in the decline of the Mughal Empire, Najib ad Dola is best known for his strategic role in the Third Battle of Panipat in 1761, where his alliance with Ahmad Shah Durrani was instrumental in the defeat of the Marathas. A ruler of the Hotak dynasty in Afghanistan, Shah Ashraf Hotak is best known for his victory against the Safavid Persians at the Battle of Golnabad in 1722, leading to the brief Hotak rule over Persia. A prominent figure in Afghan history, Muhammad Afzal Khan, son of Dost Muhammad Khan, is best remembered for his successful campaigns to seize control of Kabul in the mid-19th century. A military commander in the Delhi Sultanate, Muhammad Bakityar Khalji is renowned for his conquest of Bengal and Bihar in the early 13th century, which extended the influence of the Sultanate into eastern India. The founder of the Lodi dynasty in India, Balul Khan Lodi's most significant military achievement was his conquest of Delhi in 1451, establishing the Lodi dynasty's rule over large parts of northern India. A prominent Pashtun tribal leader, Kalu Khan Yusufzai is remembered for leading the Yusufzai tribes in successful resistance against the Mughal Empire in the 16th century, asserting Pashtun control in the region of present-day Pakistan. A governor and military leader in the Delhi Sultanate, Ain Almulk Multani is best known for his successful military campaigns in the northwest of India notably against the Mongol invasions in the late 13th century. A legendary military general under the Sultanate of Bengal, Kalapahar is famed for his conquest of Odisha alongside Prince Bayezid Khan Karani, where they defeated and killed the King Mukundev. The third ruler of the Karani dynasty in Bengal, 
Bayezid Khan Karani is known for his conquest of Odisha alongside Kalapahar, where they defeated and killed the King Mukund Dev. The founder of the Bhopal state in central India, Dost Muhammad Khan is celebrated for his strategic acumen in establishing Bhopal as a state through a series of genius military victories and alliances in the early 18th century. The founder of the Bharatsai dynasty, Dost Muhammad Khan's hallmark achievement was his consolidation of power in Afghanistan, particularly his successful endeavors to unify the fragmented territories, laying the groundwork for modern Afghan statehood. The founder of the Khalji dynasty in the Delhi Sultanate, Jalaluddin Khalji is known for his rise to power through a series of military campaigns and coups, laying the foundation for the expansion of the Khalji dynasty. Preceding Ashraf Hotak, Shah Mahmud Hotak was instrumental in the Hotak dynasty's rise to power in Afghanistan and their initial conquests against the Safavid Empire and earning the epithet, the Conqueror. A prominent figure in the Karani dynasty, Taj Khan Karani is noted for his successful military campaigns against the Afghan chieftains, and his expansion of the Karani territory in Bengal and Bihar in the 16th century before the arrival of the Mughals. A prominent military commander in the early Delhi Sultanate, Zafar Khan is best remembered for his successful defense against the Mongol invasions of India in the late 13th and early 14th centuries, playing a key role in preserving the Sultanate's independence. A general under the Delhi Sultanate's ruler Alauddin Khalji, Malik Kafir is best known for his expeditions in South India, which extended the Sultanate's influence into the Deccan and led to significant conquests, including the kingdoms of Devagiri, Varangal, and Madurai. The second ruler of the Durrani Empire, Timur Shah is recognized for consolidating and expanding the empire established by his father Ahmad Shah Durrani, successfully managing diverse tribal and ethnic groups in the region. The founder of the Hotak dynasty, Mirwais Khan Hotak is renowned for leading a successful uprising against the Safavid Persians in 1709, overthrowing and assassinating George XI of Kartil, the Safavid Persian governor establishing an independent Afghan state. A sultan of the Delhi Sultanate, Alauddin Khalji is known for his military campaigns in South India including the conquest of several major kingdoms, and for successfully defending the Sultanate against repeated Mongol invasions. A prominent Afghan leader during the First Anglo-Afghan War, Wazir Akbar Khan is best known for his successful military campaign against the British forces in 1842, particularly his role in the disastrous retreat of the British from Kabul. The founder of the Durrani Empire in Afghanistan, Ahmad Shah Durrani is known for creating one of the largest Muslim empires of the 18th century, with his victory against the Marathas at the Battle of Panipat in 1761 being particularly significant. A prominent Afghan ruler in India, Sher Shah Suri is renowned for his military skill and administrative reforms, including his victory over the Mughal Emperor Humayun at the Battle of Chausa in 1539, which allowed him to establish the Suri dynasty. From the rugged terrains of Afghanistan, these 30 generals emerged as pillars of strength and strategy, weaving their narratives into the fabric of history. Which of these storied leaders has captured your imagination? We invite you to share your thoughts and reflections in the comments. If this journey through Afghanistan's military legacy has enlightened you, please like this video, subscribe for more historical explorations, and ring the bell to join us on the next adventure.